I believe our data is helpful for patients who are unfit for surgery. That's the most important conclusion. It shows that a simple outpatient treatment requiring between three and eight treatments has been shown to be well tolerated and improve survival by a, a very significant 9.2 months in the whole population. So we do have more than one option, so not treating the elderly is no longer an acceptable option. And the second conclusion is perhaps that appropriate expensive technology applied to the uh, appropriate group of patients have actually changed outcomes and that's very positive news when one considers that some of the advance, other advances we've made are in the order of weeks to two to three months improvement in survival. So we're talking about a curative treatment in a frail group. Mm -hmm. As far as operable patients go, I think um, the emerging data suggests that that is an option in a patient who does not want to accept the risks of surgery or someone who's been told by his surgeon he has a slightly higher risk than normal. In this case, I think the patient should ask for a discussion with the radiation oncologist or a center in which SABER or stereotactic ablative radiotherapy is available. SABER has been uh, given an enormous boost because of technological advances. So we can now see the tumor, how it moves during breathing, and every day at the treatment unit, we can actually ver verify that the tumor is where it's supposed to be, it's sort of like menu of the day. So we can change it if it's not where it's supposed to be, and you can treat it. So the treatments may take a little longer, with the, some types of equipment, it takes less than five minutes, but the patient's positioning and verification can take 15 to 20 minutes. So the total time is less than 25 minutes at the treatment table. It's painless. And of course, some patients may have late complications like chest wall pain in about 3% after five years, but it's generally a painless treatment, very effectively executed. So if you were to ask me to compare it to conventional therapy, I would say, well, you just give far lower doses, between 10 to 20 times less. And you could use the same imaging technology every day for that six to seven week period, but that's a very expensive way of uh, using that technology. But there's no studies comparing the two, but the profession has been largely swayed by the excellent local control and very low toxicity that in many countries we believe there's no equipoise anymore in randomizing a patient between stereotactic or saber and conventional treatment. Mm -hmm.